Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. I'm Bob Lennon, president of Thermwood Canada, the host for the show, and our special guest today, Sonny Baska. Hi. How are you? I'm great. So, Sonny, let's uh, talk a little bit about your new role as an entrepreneur and what you're doing, but what part of the stories that I try to tell all the time is that you are brought up in Bathurst, and you moved away, and you moved away for quite a few years, and you came back. What brought you back? I, I wanted to be closer to family, and uh, I fell in love and moved home. <laughs> so when you came back, you worked in the corporate world, if I want to use that, because you were an officer, right? Yeah, I was an officer in Ontario as well, as an OPP officer for many years. I was an animal protection officer, and here I was a sheriff. Ah, so then you've seen a lot of things that kind of brought you into this and tied it in a little bit to your your life and what you enjoyed. So tell us a little bit about this, first of all, tell us a little bit about this beautiful structure that we're in, uh, because this is the first time I'm in here, and this is absolutely gorgeous. And I think that it's worthwhile that uh, people understand where we are, and then you can tie that into what you do. Okay, so you're sitting in an authentic Mongolian yurt. Um, I ordered it last September. It arrived in June. Um, yeah, it's a 100% natural structure. It's There's not a single nail or screw holding it together. It's held together by tension. Um, it's insulated with wool. Uh, the ropes on the outside are horsehair rope. And uh, yeah, it's, it was handmade in Mongolia. It's a fair trade product. It was hand delivered to my door by the company. And they helped us put it up. We had it uh, delivered at 9.30 in the morning and it was up by 9.00 o'clock that night so and i'm looking around i'm looking at the structure like you said this is all you know all wood uh structure on the to with the hold it together and there's all kinds of paintings on the uh, on the uh the members here but that's all hand painted too it is it's all hand painted um the the men in mongolia it's a family of 12 so the men do all the carving of the wood and the women do all the painting uh on the inside of it and as they paint it they chant the mantra may all beings be happy and free so in Mongolia, these are homes. Yes. Yeah. And you're using it to be part of your business. So let's tie that in together. Yeah. So I'm using it um, primarily as a yoga studio um, healing center, I'd prefer to call it, I guess, because um, I do sound healing. So vibrational sound healing. I'm a Reiki master and I'm a yoga instructor as well. So I'm bringing all of that together to create a very safe and uh, healing experience for the clientele. So, you know, and, and we, we talked a little bit about this a while ago, is that, you know, COVID brought a lot of issues around mental health. You know, people were locked up together or not locked up by themselves, couldn't go out anywhere. The social fabric has changed all the way through, and it has changed a lot of impact. So that's tied into this. How, how are you helping? Are you helping corporate people? Are you help individuals? How is that coming and linking together? Yeah, so so both. And that's that's kind of was the fire that fueled this entire project. I just felt I've been teaching in fitness facilities for quite a long time. And I, I get I'm very fortunate and I get the opportunity to go to beautiful retreat centers and yoga facilities around the world that are similar structures like this that are natural um, products that you're connected with Mother Nature and you're not just in a brick and mortar building. And I wanted to bring that back here to Bathurst because I know there's a lot of people that can use it that aren't as fortunate as me that get to go yep. away and, and experience it. So, um, yeah, this is where the vision came. And so in this uh, yurt, um, I have had quite a few corporate bookings, which is fine. I've had, um, you know, the airport out here. I've had social workers out here. And we do like a staff function versus like your staff party at a restaurant. It's a staff party where where I'm guiding them through a meditation, we're doing Reiki and maybe some gentle yoga or yeah, just giving them some different tools in their toolbox. So then later on, they can hopefully go home and take some of those tools to help ground themselves when they're feeling um, emotionally distraught or just not as connected as they'd like to be. Because more and more, as we mentioned, that is an issue in our society today. It is. Yeah, we've been so long, like you said, with COVID being pulled apart as a community. It's so nice to come together, especially in a circular environment like this, bringing us together and sharing our energies with one another and just finding other ways to heal as opposed to, you know, the traditional ways that we're used to, you know, drinking or eating or medication or whatever. Right. This is a bit more natural. And, yeah. and it's tools that we could use throughout the rest of our lives. So. Well, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, I, I love the structure because there's, there's, there's wood in here. So that's one thing that I like about it too. 
but it's it's beautiful. It's great. And you walk in and you feel calm. You do. Yeah, I've been told that by quite a few of my clients and they come in instantly. They just feel their shoulders kind of drop and they're like, oh, this is really cool. And I've had retreats over the summer and the, some of the women were like, wow, I feel like I left town and came back again. And, you know, they're just hanging out here at my place. So it gives that sense that you feel like you went on vacation, but you didn't. <laughs> a lot cheaper than going all the way to Mongolia. Exactly. <laughs> Warmer too, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. But this is, this is absolutely amazing. And the fact that you were, you know, you came back, you were in the corporate world, but you've also found a way to, to, uh, develop a business and, and to create a, another life for yourself around the corporate world, which is, you know, one of the things that a lot of people leave Bathurst, younger people leave Bathurst and, you know, liked it because they like growing up here. But when they left, they said, well, what else can I do? Yeah. And here you've been able to kind of turn it around and do what you like, because this is a passion. Yeah, it's been nine years since I've been back in Bathurst, and it took me a while to kind of carve out my place in this community. Um, but since so, it, it's definitely worked for me. And like you said, it is my passion. So I've always been involved in fitness and being that I used to be an officer, uh, trauma, PTSD, all those uh, come into play. So it's definitely something that I felt I wanted to give back to those that could use it. And that's what brought me to where I am and all the extensive training I've taken over the past seven years. And yeah, it's, it's a complete passion. So I've dove in with both feet and just running with it. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. So if somebody, a corporate uh, company or individual want to get a hold of you for any of the services that you offer, how do they get a hold of you? So you can reach me on Facebook. So I'm Sunny Yoga on Facebook. It's pretty easy to find right. at Instagram. Um, yeah. So you can just shoot me off a message um, and we can go from there. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck with with uh, with this new adventure of yours. And uh, you started off well because this is absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, like I said, as I walked in, I felt calm through the whole thing. Even uh, Olive here, who is uh, we might not see in the camera, but she's my co-host that never, ever participates. She's sitting here next to the wood fire and nice and warm. So uh, she's happy to, to be in here, too, and very calm. So, again, Thank you very much for doing the interview today, and I wish you the best with uh, what you're doing. Thank you so much, Bob. And there we are, another edition for Norton Heat for this week, the place you come to to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.